This video will look at the rules of thermochemistry. Right? There's three of them. The one you would, that you're probably familiar with is called Hess's Law. The first law says that the amount of energy absorbed or released is proportional to the amount of reactant or product involved. Basically, if I were to use more nitrogen, it would release more heat. Okay? Um, or if I take this equation and I decide instead to write it as one half N2 plus three halves H2 gives me NH3, the heat released here, instead of being minus 92.2, is minus 92.2 over 2. If I cut the equation in half, the heat gets cut in half. That's the first law. The second one is if the heat of reaction is positive for a reaction, if the reaction is written reverse, the heat is negative. So for instance, if I took this reaction, N2 plus 3H2 gives you 2NH3, and I wrote it in reverse, and I said 2NH3 gives me N2 plus 3H2, then the heat becomes positive, 92.2. That's the second law of thermal chemistry. The third law of thermal chemistry is called Hess's law. And basically this says that the total energy change for a reaction is the same whether the reaction occurs in one step or a series of steps. So for instance, if I decided to take A plus B gives me C, and delta H for that is positive 10 kilojoules. And then I said C plus D gives me A plus E. And delta H for that was negative 20 kilojoules. Then if I take the overall reaction, okay, I'm going to cross out the C's and the A's. The overall reaction there, B plus D gives me E. Okay. Hess's law says if I can add the equations up, I can add the heats. So the heat for this reaction is going to be negative 10 kilojoules, plus 10 minus 20. That's Hess's law, which is pretty simple, but let's see what it looks like in a couple of examples that are a little more complicated. So given the data, we're going to have some equations here. We want to use Hess's law to find delta H for this equation. So my recommendation is always that you leave yourself some room, you draw a line, and then below that you put the equation that you're looking for. Okay, so I'm going to write the equation that I'm trying to, to end up with. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and look at um, the things that I need. Okay, so for instance, I need N2O, and I need one of them, and I need it to be on the left. So I go up into my equations and I find N2O, and it's in this equation right here. But So it's on the correct side, but I have two of them. So I'm going to take that equation and I'm going to divide it in half. So I say N2O oops, goes to N2 plus one half O2. Now since I took the equation and I divided it in half, I'm going to take the heat and I'm going to divide that in half. Okay, that's the first law of thermochemistry. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to look for the next thing. Okay, I got some NO2, so I'm going to find the equation that has NO2 in it, and that's this one right here. So I say to myself, is it on the right side? No, it's actually on the wrong side. So I'm going to have to take this equation and reverse it, plus I don't want two of them, I want one of them. So I'm going to take that equation, I'm going to reverse it and divide it by two. So I end up with NO2 gives me NO plus one half O2. Now whatever I do to the reaction, I have to do the heat. I turned it around, so now it's plus 113.1. I also divide it by two, so I divide that by two. Okay, and then I look at the last equation, and I see I've got to get three NOs. Okay, um, now there's only two NOs here. But you may have noticed but that there's already one there. So I'm actually just going to write that equation as it is. And 2 plus O2 gives me 2NO. 
since I didn't really do anything to it, I'm going to go ahead and make it And then let's make sure everything cancels out and adds up to what we want. Okay, so we're going to look for things that are, so for instance, I have N2 on the left and the right, so that cancels out. I have O2 on the left and one O2 on the right, so that cancels out. I've got a total of three NOs, so that's cool. I got an NO2, so that's cool. And I got an N2O, so that's cool. So you want to make sure your steps add up to the equation you're looking for, and since they do, if I can add the equations, I can add the heats, and when I do that, I get delta H is 155.65 kilojoules. So that's how you can use Hess's law and other equations to find the equation that you're looking for. Okay?